The long-awaited budget debate began on Thursday, March 22nd at the House of Assembly, signaling the completion of the Standing Finance Committee report discussions. The Premier tabled the report in the House, after which members on both sides gave their views on the document. Walter Barrett brings us this report. As the House met on Thursday and Friday to debate the 2012 budget, all discussions remained rooted in matters pertaining to finance as questions arose about government spending and comments were made on how to rectify some of the issues brought to the floor moving forward. Minister for Communication and Works, Honorable Mark Van Tepoel, in his statement, said that the 2012 budget shows the rest of the world that the government of the BVI is addressing the issue of careful spending. And this budget, he says, proves that government is not into cavalier spending. He said that the Premier's result to ensure some $15 million is in the reserves also helps to show that the BVI is able to handle its own financial affairs while adhering to the proper financial management principles. This 2012 budget is addressing that issue that we want to be careful about how we manage our finances and get the respect internationally and worldwide that we can manage those finances and within the management of those finances, Madam Speaker, we must, be, we must show that we are prepared and willing to create a, a, um, a reserve fund for the, for the, for the, for the, for the uh, rainy day. And our Premier and Minister of Finance has shown that he's determined to at least put $15 million in that direction this year and work with the rest as we go along and gradually build our reserves back to a position where we can have the respect and where we can then be able to go abroad <coughs> uh, and negotiate loans, loan funding, and be able to at least let persons know that we don't necessarily need interference from them to help to manage our, our, our financial affairs, but we're willing to be guided by the proper financial management principles and ensure the territory is on sound footing. Meanwhile, one of the many issues discussed was raised by Minister for Health and Social Development, Honorable Ronnie Skelton, who spoke about raising the departure tax at the territory's seaports. Honorable Skelton said this would not only bring in revenue, but it would be funds that could go toward the development of the territory's ports of entry as well, which he said is needed, particularly at Road Town and West End. Most of the passengers now, Madam Speaker, are coming through the West End port. And they're going back through the West, the, when I say West End, Road Town, the seaports. They're going back to the seaport, both Road Town and West End. And Madam Speaker, I know. Uh, I don't know how the Minister of Finance is going to get it done, but he has to do it because going through the Western port or going through the seaports is five dollars, but going through the airport is twenty dollars for the departure tax. If we are going to, if these people are going to assist us in helping us, that's why they're coming here so they can leave money on our shores so that we can fix these seaports and airports. We have to raise the departure taxes on seaports. I know. The, the people who use it, the, the, the little man who uses it, gonna think that that is not the right thing. That that means he has to come up with twenty dollars. But as a country, we gotta stop thinking, man, and speak about just about ourselves. Another issue that was raised, which bears significantly on the development of the territory's finances, is that of the territory's airlift situation. Deputy Premier and Minister for Natural Resources and Labour, Dr. The Honourable Kedrick Pickering, said that the extension of the Terence B. Letsom International Airport is no longer a question, and he highlighted that the prosperity of the financial services depends on easy access to the BVI. According to Honourable Pickering, the extension project will take place, and the necessary groundwork is now being done to ensure that the steps taken create the least amount of interference to the environment. We spoke about the real possibilities of the BVI becoming a, a, a business center. But, but business and people who want to do business have to have access. And that is one of the big problems. So the, the, the naysayers and the doomsayers have overlooked that in order for our financial services to be able to move onwards and upwards, we have to have access because people who want to do real business can't use the time it takes to get to the BVI and get away from the BVI to come to the BVI to do real business. And so the, the upgrade, the, 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 the extension, the development, whatever term is being used for the Terrence B. Letsom Airport, we've come to that fork in the road where we, we just, we don't have a choice now 
if we are going to move forward because so much else is now intimately intertwined with them. So we have to move forward. So the decision about moving the, the airport forward and upgrading the airport is a decision that is already made. We're not trying to make a decision. We've made that decision. We're now doing the necessary groundwork to ensure that whatever is done is done in a way that there is the least, the least environmental impact on that entire area. At large representative Honorable Archibald Christian also made a call for citizens to manage their own personal and household spending as government continues to find ways to keep money within the Treasury. Up until news time, members of the House were still debating the budget. The 2012 budget address was delivered by Premier and Finance Minister Dr. The Honorable D. Orlando Smith on Tuesday, January 17th projecting revenues of $287.4 million and operational expenditure of $258.4 million. Reporting for JTV News, this is Walter Barrett.